Hey, uh, Pat and Nick, when you ever go to the gym, you ever work with resistance bands? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. 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 You know who invented the resistance band? Jack LaLanne. Boom. Look at that guy. That, you can look like this with just resistance bands. Okay, so a local fitness guru wrote this book with his widow and says that the exercises he was promoting in the 50s are still valid today. We're going to talk about that and how you can stay in shape no matter how old you are coming up. Remember Jack LaLanne? Yeah. Man, I mean, he made the leisure suit look good. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. He was the godfather of fitness. And if you belong to a gym, you can thank him for that. Yes, yeah, so it was Jack LaLanne who popularized lifting weights at a time when many fear it would do more damage than good. Matt Stewart's live at AYC Health and Fitness in Prairie Village with a gym owner who just published a book about Jack LaLanne. Oh, and Matt Stewart is grinding right now. Uh, Oh, hey, Matt, yes. you know, what I want to say, hey, uh, when I think of Jack LaLanne, the first thing I think of is there used to be, uh, I, I'm so old, there was like a comic strip of like a, a nerdy guy getting bullied on the beach, and then he uses Jack LaLanne's techniques, and then he beats up the bully on the beach, you know? <laughs> I don't remember that. You're really old. Uh, and thanks for ruining my tradition, my, or my transition, right? Here I was lifting weights, and the reason I'm lifting weights is because, you know, Jack LaLanne right here, uh, he actually invented the weight machine, believe it or not. And we use those even today to stay in shape. And the reason we're talking Jack LaLanne is because Greg Justice, uh, he owns AYC Health and Fitness here in Prairie Village, been a personal trainer since the 80s. Um, you wrote this book. Why? Why? What, what about Jack LaLanne do you want people to remember today? Well, Jack is responsible for pretty much all the equipment in pretty much every gym that you can see, even though he never got one penny of royalties for it. He invented because his mission was to help people help themselves through exercise and nutrition. That is my mission now to further his legacy and to help the next generation share that with the world. I think what's interesting is back when Jack LaLanne started lifting, doctors thought that weightlifting was bad for you? Well, yeah, they used to call him a charlatan and a quack, and then toward the end of his career, they called him the authority. That's crazy, and so resistance training was a big part of it. You incorporate that in a lot of, of your personal training uh, things that you do. Why? Well, you know, Jack always talked about there being more than 650 muscles in your body, and it's important to use as many of them as you can. So we do a lot of what we call metabolic resistance training, where we'll use a mixture of weight training, we'll do bands, we'll do body weight training, and we'll do it with short rest intervals between to get the cardiovascular system going, get the muscular system going, and feel good from head to toe. So we, we showed you the band in that last, and in fact, if we come over here, I'll put the book down. Uh, you can see the bands, right? So a lot of you have used, or have used these before where uh, maybe you'll kind of put it here and you'll, you'll kind of use that band to resist. But Greg also has this rope machine, and I'm going to give you the mic so you can kind of tell us a little bit about how this thing works. Well, this is great because this is the upper body treadmill. And Jack was a big advocate of rope, rope climbing at Muscle Beach. And this is the original upper body endless rope machine where you can go from a cardiovascular machine, like you're walking now, now you're jogging, you can even sprint, but we can also start to give you a little resistance. Now you're gonna feel, I want more, Greg. Oh, you want more. more. so we're gonna give you give a little more, more. more. And then if you want to turn it from a cardiovascular machine to a resistance machine, now you're sort of supporting basically your entire body weight. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, my gosh. One, one simple machine. And it, the beauty of it, too, is you can get that same cardiopulmonary response as you could running. But if you think about it, you're literally separating the spine as opposed to compressing it on the running. It's so true, and cardiovascular is so important the older you get, and you think about resistance training, it's, you're not going to hurt yourself like you could with heavy weights, so something that you should be doing no matter what your age. If you want to learn more about Greg's philosophy when it comes to working out and resistance training, go to gregjustice.com. Guys, I'm out of breath. This really is it's, it's really hard, uh, and the book is available on Amazon as well if you're interested in that. The Legacy of Jack LaLanne. Greg? kind of keeping that legacy alive with the way he trains everyone here in Prairie Village. All right. All right. Matt Stewart, NPV. Matt, thank you, buddy. All right, come on.